Hello and welcome back. This time we're going to talk about combining things from different tables. Okay, we want to to get data out of one table, data out of the other table, and combine those two. Okay. The first method we I want to show you is the so-called union. Yeah. In union, we can combine two tables with the same property or the same type of property to appear like it would be one property. Yeah. So the data is in fact coming from different tables, but we show them only as one column. Okay. This is the union. However, I will show you something else also. I will show you uh, how to use copy and paste with this putty thing. Okay, this is maybe also interesting for for you, for me as well because I'm I'm not sure if you noticed, but my typewriting and so on is not that good, yeah, or not that fluent. Uh, so uh, I always like to use copy and paste, and when you ever tried to use. Ctrl C or Ctrl V or something like this in the putty window, it is not working at all. Yeah. But there are methods on how this is working. Yeah. And I show you. First of all, uh, let's have a look on our status. Yeah. Here we got our our things. Yeah. So we have an address list, we have a student list. Yeah. And what we want to do now is I want to also have a list with the with the uh, legal guardians okay the legal guardians usually the parents erziehungsberechtigte yeah? usually the parents but must not be so we call it legal guardian not parent list okay i want to have a table with the legal guardians i want to know uh, how what is their name i want to know uh, what is their uh, address and I want to know how to contact them. I want to have a phone number or maybe an email. Okay. And I also want to know how to contact the students, so I will extend the students list also with phone number and of course a reference to the legal guardian. I will add two references to legal guardians. So I prepared already a command. You see it down here. Yeah. Here is a text file, simple text file, I've compiled with all possible commands, yeah? or possible commands, with some commands I'm going to use. Yeah? I don't want to type this in here, because here for instance, this is the create table, yeah? we're going to use to create the table for the legal guardians. Yeah? How to copy to clipboard? Right click, copy, or Ctrl C, copy. Okay. How to get it in here? Yeah. Ctrl V is not working. However, you just have to press the right mouse button. Just the right mouse button is enough. Cook. And it's written. Okay. We copied the clipboard with the press of the right mouse button into our party window. This is good. So let's see what's going on here. We're creating a table. We're creating a table. This is the name of the table. And we do have an ID, of course, yeah, as primary key. We do have a forename. We, have, we do have a sure name, like in the students list. We have two telephone numbers. Yeah, maybe one mobile phone, maybe one, one uh, wired phone. Yeah. We have an email address, of course. And we have the address, which is again a reference, a foreign key to the address list. So the address list will share addresses of the students and the legal guardians. So I'm going to create this table. Table is created, everything is fine. Now I'm going to extend the table for for the student list i also prepared here some somewhere yeah, ah here yeah, yeah, a statement steuerung 
C, Ctrl C, right mouse button, hollow the O, working. Yeah? I will alter the table, the table student list, and I will add the column phone one, I will add the column phone tone phone two, I will add two columns uh, which should refer to the now created legal guardian list. Okay, back, working. Okay. Now I have to set the legal guardian list as a foreign key. We did this in last video. Yeah. So I will go into alter the table, Steuerung C, right mouse button, bookie. Yeah. I now added the foreign key for student legal guardian one, and I'm now going to add the key for student legal guardian two. Now we can use a describe, describe student list. It's already pretty pop, 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 blown up. Huh? When you remember how it started, huh? now it's bigger. Yeah? We can have a select. Huh? And now I guess, yeah, this is how a select looks like if our window is not broad enough. So I will not change the window size because it would simply not no longer fit to the video. Yeah? But it seems like it worked. At least we have student guardian one, two, looks okay. okay. Now I'm going to fill, now I'm going to fill my student guardian list with life. Okay. I've prepared here several insert statements yeah? and I'm going to insert them and a chat. And this is also very nice, yeah, because now I don't have to to uh, speed up the. Uh, yeah, now I mentioned it. Yes, I speeded it up. It was not my usual working speed. <laughs> uh, just copy, yeah, paste. Whoop, 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 whoop. Everything fine. Yeah, let's get it out. Select everything from legal guardian list. This is how it looks like. Okay. This is how it looks like. There is a Ilse and Walter Pitoschowski, there's Andreas and Andrea Paulsen, and there's a Franz and a Franziska Carlsen. Okay. They live at several places, they have an email address, they have one phone number. Uh, second phone number is always zero. Okay. So we have now the legal guardians. And now we have to enter or we have to update the legal guardians for our students. Okay? For our students. And therefore we have to do an update of the student list. And I will try, I will have to alter this because it's not student, it's legal. Guardian one, yeah? and this shall be one for student ID one. For me, this is Ilse Petershowski is my legal guardian one, yeah? and now my legal guardian two is two for me. Yeah? And I do the same for Paulson. Now I forgot what Paulson's what Paulson's. Uh, student ID was Paul Paulson was three and Carl Paulson was four. Okay. So let's scroll up. The Paulsons are three and four, so it's three where student ID is three. Okay. And four, and then the second one is four. Okay. Let's have a look. Select everything. Yeah, one, one and two here. One and two are the two legal guardians, and here three and four, and also three and four. So this seems to be siblings, the two persons. Yeah, at least they have the same legal guardians. Good. Yeah. What I want to do now, now we have, let's say, an emergency. 
Okay. Let's say we have an emergency uh, and we want to reach someone of the Paulsons or someone of the Pitoshovskis. It does not really matter for us. Yeah. So I could use select a select statement uh, student from ends, phone one from student list. Then, uh huh, I have not entered, there is no telephone number for Heinz Petrashowski. Maybe in phone number two, no, there is no telephone number in phone number two. So the Petrashowski is not working. Maybe I'm using then another select statement, this one. Yeah. Here you see, select legal guardian phone number from legal guardian list, where legal guardian ID is a legal guardian one from student list. Yeah. Or I also have a look if there is a phone number of legal guardian two. I get two phone numbers. So it seems like the two legal guardians the two legal guardians do have a phone number, but it's an awful lot of, of typing, right? It would be nice to have a list of all possible telephone numbers yeah, where I can reach our student, our legal guardian, somebody to tell something has happened, to inform them. This the union can do. Okay. Now I tell you how the union command is working. I select as before yeah, student phone one yeah, from student list yeah, where student ID is one. This would bring the phone number of the student. Okay student list. And now I can say that's not enough for me. I don't want to not only show the telephone number of the student, I also want to show the telephone number of the legal guardian one. Yeah? So I make a union. Union. And now I enter the second select statement. Select legal guardian phone one yeah, from legal guardian guardian list where what should be the legal guardian ID is in select student legal legal guardian one yeah, from student list so i'm reading out now the reference to the legal guardian list student list select student legal guardian one from student list yeah, where where student ID is one. This is the second select statement. This would display the legal guardian phone number one of the legal guardian, which is referenced by legal guardian one of the student list. Now we do also use a union. And now we select phone number one from legal guardian list, yeah, exactly the same, where legal guardian is inside and now still the same, almost. I use legal guardian two now yeah, and where 
student and here I have again a typo of course student ID is one and now I'm finished now it's wrong because because I mistyped a lot of things yeah. so I have to go to the student ID ah, it's annoying right student ID back <laughs> here I have a list of all phone numbers I stored yeah? the student himself there is no phone number this is why it is written now yeah? this is legal guardian 1 and this is legal guardian 2 but I, I get it as one one list okay now you see I made some typos what a surprise yeah? so I want to also use this select statement and get it out here because now it's working and I want to put it here in my list yeah? because yeah, I don't want to type it next time again and also make some typos so I'm marking this yeah? just left mouse button mark it let the left mouse button go pick and how to cope with this it's already copied. Whenever you mark something, it will be copied in the clipboard. So I can go into my text file, press here Ctrl V, and I have this I have this select statement here. I just have to bring it somehow in form. And well, and it looks good. And this is exactly the select statement we've used. Great, isn't it? And next time, I am not going to make a typo because I will just cope it. This probably helps a lot. At least, it's helping me. One thing you might notice, there's written student phone one, yeah? but it's not the student phone, it's also the legal guardian phone. So it is not entirely true what is written here. The header, because we are mixing now two, two attributes or two tables, the header is not entirely correct. I want to have the header a different name. Yeah? I want to have the, letter, the header a different name. And the only thing I have to do, yeah, I have to do as yeah. ah, let's let's make it one line by one line. Select student phone. Select student phone. Okay. This was the first line of the last command. And now I can give it a name yeah? as telephone yeah? from student list. Okay. Enter. And the rest of the lines I will use exactly the same yeah? book. Okay. The only thing I added is this as telephone. And now enter. And now he has written telephone. Okay? So I can give the column a name I select. Yeah? If I simply buy this S. Yeah? S telephone. Now, but I have no idea which which of these are from the legal guardians and which of these are from the student. I don't know. I simply don't know. However, I can also add a new line. This is maybe strange. Yeah? Let's also begin at the beginning. Yeah? We are not selecting only we are not selecting only student phone one as telephone. Yeah? 
we are selecting and now I type in simply what I want to see here yeah? student yeah? as type I select student student show wieder student is the as type what does it mean? I add a new artificial column which is not inside of my table, of my student list. This column will always have the same value, student, in this case. Okay. It is not there. I'll I will cast it as type. Yeah. And every, every, uh, everything I get from the database there will also be a new column added, which is named type, and there will be inside student, always the same value. It's not coming out of the database, it's coming out of the command. Okay. So this is one. Yeah. And then we make the union, and then we select the legal guardian one from yeah. But we, all, we are not only selecting legal guardian phone one, we are also selecting legal guard. Yeah. Okay. Second row. Yeah. And second row, the type row, will always be legal guard. The where clause is pretty much the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. I already pressed enter. There is the semicolon. I had the semicolon. Okay. What do you see? We have a new, we have a new row type. Yeah, this is because I named it type, and there is student written because this select statement adds student. Yeah, and then here is legal guardian, legal guard written because this select statement adds legal guard. And if I want yeah, also to have the second legal guardian, yeah, uh -huh. this is of course not working. I will change it here. Yeah. Select student as Type student phone as telephone from student list, yeah. And here I select not. I like the student. I select also here legal guard. And this legal guard I will also select here. And now that's my statement I'm going to use. Book. Okay. You see the only difference is that I also added now the second one. And now we see exactly which entry is from student and which entry is from legal guard. We could even we could even write here legal guard one and legal guard two. Then we would even see if it's the legal guardian one or legal guardian two. Let's try it. Book. Back. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the possibilities yeah, of this union. So this union simply extends one column which is of the same type. Okay. Let's have a look again on our on our student list. Yeah, and our let's have a look on the legal guardian list. Yeah. 
Ilse und Walter are clear, they have two telephone numbers, and there's also Andreas and Andrea Paulsen. Yeah? They have one telephone number, fixed line, somewhere. Yeah? Let's see what our Paulsen is doing there. Yeah? Paulsen was student ID number three. Yeah? So we'll simply here say student ID is three. Student ID is three. Student ID is three. Then I should get all telephone numbers of student. Yeah? Legal guard. Legal guard. For me, it's enough to know the legal guard. It's legal guard in a note. But this is the command. Same command as before, but now we have student IDs written here three, yeah, here three, here three, and I fix this back to legal guard instead of one and two. Enter. Uh huh. Only one telephone number, but there are two legal guardians. This is one. Property one property of, of of union it will check if this line is already there. If this line is already there, it will not print the duplicate one. Simply not. Yeah. If you do want to print a duplicate one, yeah, you would have to use if you really want to see all yeah, all results, you have to use union all. So the only thing I'm changing now is this union all book. Yeah. Here we enter now union all instead of union. Same command as before, enter. Now I get two entries for the legal guardians yeah. with the same number, of course, yeah. because there's the same number entered in our database. This is how union is working. This is how Union is working. Well, I hope you got a little hint what Union can do. So Union is unifying one column yeah, to appear as one column even if it's coming out of different tables. You can use it on your own database, try Union, uh, think where it makes sense, yeah, think uh, Think about it simply where it makes sense. Uh, if nowhere, then extend the data structure a little bit. You will find something where it makes sense. Yeah? And if you like, you can also try to not only put out the email addresses, uh, the, the telephone numbers here, but also the email addresses. Okay? Think of a statement which puts out all possible telephone numbers, not only telephone number one, and also add the email addresses. Okay. This would also be a nice task. Yeah. So now we know how to combine to combine things which of the same type from different tables. Next time we're going to talk about how to get different columns from different tables appear like it would be one table. Okay. So that we're that we're maybe uh, we we are going to to show uh, student name, uh, legal guardian name next to each other, which fits together. Okay, this is what we want to do to next time. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.